Hey, 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 Nikki Brown here. No matter where you are, what part of the world you're in, I hope that you're having a good day. Let's get some. I actually recorded a whole video and realized it wasn't recording. Hmm. So I actually did this part already. Really? Okay, so I had someone ask me about becoming a yogi and um, so I decided to do a video about it. I had a wonderful, wonderful experience. I actually was doing research for a Facebook group I have, which is um, basically a vegan travel group, um, vegan travel destinations around the world. And I came across the ashram that I attended. Um, the yoga ashram that I attended is the Shivananda Ashram in the Bahamas. And it is a 30 day program. Um, so if you're interested in becoming a yogi, I recommend that you first find a school. I know that Shivananda has locations in New York, California, Canada, India, of course the Bahamas. I'm not sure of all of them, but I remember those. Um, I've not really done much research about any of the other... Um, ashrams or yoga schools so I really couldn't give you information about that um, however um, once you start doing your research there may be a day school that you can go to or even attend on weekends but like I said the program that I took was 30 days and it was a wonderful wonderful experience Yoga is not just about stretching and flexibility. It is also about the mind, body, spirit, and soul connection. And it was a wonderful experience. Um, waking up at 5.30, um, meditating. Um, I do still go on my nature walks. I have done a few YouTube videos um, teaching some yoga, but I can't say that I've been consistent with that. I do still practice yoga and I do still participate um, with the ashram. A lot of times I watch the YouTube videos, which are replays, um, and I do my best to participate live on Sundays. Um, again still waking up at 5 30 because this is what a yogi does wakes up early um some wake up at four three four o'clock in the morning so it really all depends um but i loved it it is an eye-opening experience it is life-changing and i encourage um, people to do it if you want to um, if you're thinking about it go for it if you have well you can take 30 days off go for it um, again it is a wonderful experience um, I would love to teach on a more teach yoga on a more consistent basis and um, I'm I'm delighted that I can share this new gift with other people to help them along their spiritual journey. Um, let's see. So find a yoga school, make sure that you have the time and really don't, mm, you have to really let go of A closed mindset you have to be really open-minded because there's going to be some things that are very different and so you can't really bring 
old thought patterns into this new situation. You have to kind of be really willing to let go and be open-minded and embrace the process. And even, you know, say some things that you probably wouldn't ordinarily say or that you've never said. Again, it's a very different experience, but it is wonderful. Um, and and the teach TTC, um, which is the teacher training course, again, is not just about you becoming a yoga teacher. It is you becoming a yogi. And again, yogis is is a whole mindset shift. Um, again, waking up at five thirty, um, eating vegan. Oh, not vegan, vegetarian. Um, no eggs, but they do recommend you drink milk, but not regular milk that you would buy from the store, really like raw cow's milk or raw goat's milk, which of course is not easy to find um, unless you know a farmer or live near a farm that sells raw milk. Um, but yeah, they recommend um, milk. Rice is a staple, but the rest is pretty much fruits and vegetables, grains, nuts, seeds, um, ancient grains. Drinking your water. Um, The ashram I attended, we did yoga twice a day for an hour and a half. Yeah. Or was it two hours? It was an hour and a half to two hours every day again for the entire month of July. Um... I met some great people. And again, it was just, a, it was a really great experience. And again, I encourage you, if you're thinking about it, to take that journey, um, especially if you're already on a spiritual journey, it would just, you know, elevate you to the next level. Again, I would love to teach yoga full time. I haven't been able to um, get the clientele yet. Um, I made some flyers, but I have not even handed them out. Um, and I have some other things in mind to do. Um, and so I'm working on some things. I'll just say that. But yes, it's a great experience. Um, I learned so much. Um, yoga is a completely different way of thinking, a completely different way of living. It's almost like a monk lifestyle. Um, they do recommend that you be celibate for the 30 days. So, you know, even if you go with your spouse or partner, really you should um, abstain for those 30 days. And so if you don't feel as if that's something you can do, maybe you should think about it. Um, of course, no one can force you, but um, they say that the sexual desire is the hardest to let go of. And sex is everywhere because why? Sex sells. So... Um, every just about every advertisement we see is you know selling sex in some way shape form or fashion um, but you learn a lot about these different things and how to establish a better connection how to become your best self how to let go of you know, those gunas, <laughs> the Thomas and the Rajas, um, but I won't get into all those details. 
um trying to think um it's all about cleansing and detoxing eating healthy um, meditating doing your yoga and learning and it's it's a lot of so an ashram basically started out as a school for children and if i'm not mistaken the kids spent 12 years at the ashram maybe they started at age eight until 20 or i can't remember but i know it's 12 years um so basically you learn 12 years of knowledge in four weeks <laughs> So it's not a game. It's very, very intense. It is rewarding. But by the second week, you're like, oh my God, what did I get myself into? <laughs> like seriously, it's no joke. Um, again, very rewarding. By the, by the time the, the classes are over, you're like, oh no, it's over. You know, I don't want it to be over yet, but that first week, you're really, your body's feeling it. Your body's feeling the difference, especially if you've never done yoga or if you don't practice yoga on a regular basis. Um, you may find it challenging to keep up with the class, especially when you have, and you shouldn't compare yourself to anybody, but if you're paying attention, you will notice that some people are there like extra flexible and they can keep up with the instructor um, and they're going at a faster pace. Whereas again, if you're somebody who doesn't practice yoga on a regular basis or you haven't done yoga in a while, <laughs> you know, you may find yourself struggling to keep up and really you're using your own body weight and your own strength. So it's not like calisthenics where you're using your own body weight. It's different. But again, very rewarding. Um, it could take years for you to gain full flexibility. Like say, for example, if you're someone who's never been able to do a, flit, a split. It may take you four or five years to do a split. But if you're consistently practicing yoga, you will eventually get a, do a split. It could happen sooner, um, but again, continuing to practice the stretching on a daily basis or at least several times a week, you will get there and you will notice that your body is strong without lifting weights. Um, your body will be strong. Um, but again, it's not just about the stretching and the um, flexibility it's much deeper than that and again you learn 12 years worth of knowledge in four weeks and then you're tested after the four weeks and you may not remember everything but as you go through the program you will remember a lot and so you will be prepared for the test um You should be less judgmental after, and you should be more appreciative after. Now, every individual is different. You may be eager to take more classes. I am eager to start taking more classes as well um, when time permits. Um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to my growth within um, this new field of study, we'll call it for now, just for lack of a better term. Um, but it's a great experience. And again, I encourage anyone to take that road if you want to. Um, but it's very different. And again, it's a very different mindset and a very different way of looking at things. Um, I won't go into details, but 
it's really all about cleansing, cleansing the mind, cleansing the body, cleansing the energy. Um, you just learn so much. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, you can um, put them in the comments and I will do my best to respond to each and every person who comments and has a question. But other than that, I love y'all. Later. Mwah.